I think the thing that excites me most about sampling is the accidents. Um, you can't really predict what you're going to get out. If you really start to work into samples, you can create some incredible accidents. And from that, that might spawn a whole track, it might spawn an idea, it might, it might spawn multiple tracks just from sampling one record. And I love that kind of alchemy and magic of, uh, of being able to sample records. Hi, this is Grey Matter. We're at Tool Room HQ in Maidstone. Check out my new course for Tool Room Academy and Vader Pro, where I show you how to get creative with sampling and creating custom sounds. Don't restrict in terms of where you are influenced, what you are influenced by, the sources of the music that you're influenced by. Um, it can come from anywhere, so open up those creative channels, put everything into a sampler and see what comes out, because you don't know what's going to come out, basically. We're going to look quickly at a little bit of outboard kind of sampling and processing. I love this, this is the 33, which is a sampler. Audio input that side, output that side. There's some sounds I've put in here recorded in, there's some stock sounds in there. You can really mess sounds up on this, so I'm quite a big fan of the way it sounds. Very low fi kind of overdriven. So that's kind of what this video is all about, is, is kind of creating these custom sounds and, and, and this way of working where you working again and again and again into the loops that you create. So just building up this custom library of sounds essentially is, is something that's so valuable for me and, and I think it gives you your own sound and originality when everybody else is using sample packs. You can throw a few of these in there that no, you know no one else has got then it can really give you the edge and it's, it definitely gives it character and flavour. Yeah.